Hello everyone, today we're going to have a video on how to do some greetings in Turkish language. Uh, before we start, uh, I'm going to ask you to uh, have a notebook and take your notes because you're going to memorize all these things. In this video, uh, we don't uh, only have um, the words and the meanings. Uh, I'm going to tell you about some cultural aspects of greetings, so that will help you avoid misunderstanding and uh, avoid culture shock. Okay, so if you have subscribed and if you have um, clicked on the bell icon, um, I'm going to continue. Do not forget to like because this video is useful for you anyways and so please like it okay let's go through the lesson marhaba marhaba it means hello hi selam selam that means hello too Selamun aleyküm. Selamun aleyküm. Okay. These are three ways people say hello to each other. Uh, one thing that you should consider is that if someone um, tells you like merhaba, it would be better for you to answer with merhaba. And if somebody says selam or selamun aleyküm, which is a much more religious kind of uh, greeting and they expect you to uh, answer with salam okay so when you answer salam or salam alaikum with marhaba some people may misunderstand you that you are insisting on avoiding their religion okay so be a bit careful with this and uh, you can answer their hello with alaikum salam uh, these three ways are arabic and after islam that's the way uh, some of them say hello to each other so we have salam and salam and alaikum and in answer we have alaikum salam Saying günaydın, which means good morning, is a way of um, saying hello, if it is morning. And still, if somebody tells you günaydın, answer with günaydın. And um, yeah, but do not uh, confront yourself with the answer of selam with any of merhaba or günaydın. Okay? Just hello back to the person the way he says hello you continue the same way İyi günler. İyi günler. that means good day uh, they use it in um, greetings on the phone let me tell you uh, so you may hear a call from a place starting their Greetings saying Igunar, and then they will tell you why they have called you and other things. Or someone when comes to a shop or for a uh, for an official visit, uh, they may also greet with Igunar. So these are the ways that Turkish people say hello to each other. Let's go to the next page. Okay. So we have Iyunar as goodbye and saying a good day, saying goodbye like when you want to leave a place or when you want to finish a conversation on the phone and uh, you want to just end uh, your interaction and say goodbye. Iyunar is uh, a very common way of saying goodbye. And it is mostly used in formal ways. 
So um, when you say you lie to your friends, that would be a bit weird. İyi akşamlar. İyi akşamlar. That means good evening. They use um, good evening uh, saying iyi akşamlar as a goodbye, as a material for saying goodbye. So, um, unlike English that you can use good evening as a hello, in Turkish language we use good evening as a goodbye. So sometimes uh, you may hear a Turkish person speaking English using good evening as a goodbye, okay, which uh, in English we don't do that, but it's because they use iyi akşamlar to say goodbye. Or sometimes if um, they are on the phone, they may use it as a hello, but that usually brings a end of a conversation, end of a texting, like to say goodbye, okay? Görüşürüz. Görüşürüz. Görüşürüz means we will see each other. That means see you, okay? Like hope to see you again, something like that. Görüşürüz. Görüşürüz. Görüşmek üzere. Görüşmek üzere. That's the same thing. And that is hope to see you. Um, none of them means hope, but that means that, um, like, yeah, we hope to see you in the future. And this is a bit formal. Um, you would be bet. I mean, it would be better if you... Uh, use this one for formal situations like if you say görüşürüz to your boss that's not very common that's very common with your friends but um, when you say görüşmek üzere that's a formal high class way of saying goodbye and that's a bit more polite güle güle güle güle um, okay let me Tell me, tell you something about güle güle. Güle güle, gül means, actually gülmek means laughing. Güle güle means in a happy way. Uh, literally it means in a happy way. But we use güle güle in Turkish as a way of saying goodbye to the person who is leaving, okay? So the person who is leaving may use any of like görüşürüz, görüşmek üzere or iyi akşamlar or any, any way of saying goodbye. Um, to answer to that saying, you can say güle güle. But you can't start uh, saying goodbye with güle güle, okay? Because, um, I mean... Sometimes when they are angry and they want to send someone out, like say, like get out of my face or something, they may say güle güle in an, in an angry tone. And, you know, that's for sending someone out. So güle güle is used for sending someone out, not for the start of saying goodbye. Okay. Hadi öptüm. Hadi öptüm means kiss you. That's a way of saying goodbye on the phone. Okay? So on the phone, if you're talking to your friend, um, you can say hadi öptüm to say that I'm leaving, kiss you, goodbye. So be very careful. Do not use hadi öptüm in uh, formal situations. But Sometimes it happens, you know, because that that's on the phone. So you may just um, kind of automatically, unintentionally say hadi öptüm to somebody who you don't even know. Like, <laughs> so uh, be very careful about this one. Okay. Kendine iyi bak. Kendine iyi bak. Kendine means to yourself. İyi bak means... Um, take care. And this ke form 
is um, short form is an abbreviation which is used in texting. If sometimes, if you text to a Turkish person, if you see this um, abbreviation, it is for kendini iyi bak, which means take care, and it is used for saying goodbye. Allah'a ısmarladık. Or Allah smarladık. Yeah. It's a bit difficult to say when I, I don't use it. Um Allah smarladık. Allah smarlat Allah smarladık. Yeah. Uh, this is a kind of religious formal uh say of goodbye. And that means God protect you. And it's like like I I leave you to God's protection. It's kind of a meaning. Um okay, so Allah emanetol. Allah emanetol. That means also God protect you. Like it means that we uh leave you to God. So yeah, he will protect you. Yolun açık olsun. Yolun açık olsun. This is a way of saying goodbye to someone who is going to work, who is setting up a journey, who is on a path to go to achieve something, or maybe somebody, somebody who's going to school or anyway, anyway. Um, you say goodbye in this way because it means all the paths be open to you. You say this goodbye when somebody is going to somewhere to achieve something, okay? So you wish this person, um, like, for all the paths to be open to him. That's the way people just set somebody off to... Something. Okay. Yolun açık olsun. Yeah. All these uh, words are used for saying goodbye. I hope you're taking notes. If you haven't liked yet, please press the like button. I need them, guys. You need these hellos and goodbyes. I need that like. And please... I do not hesitate to ask any questions regarding this video. I will answer you. Okay. Oh, we have one more here. Hoşçakal or hoşçakalın. That means be good. Okay, and it is used for goodbye. It's a bit literary. And uh, it's a polite way of saying goodbye. And sometimes uh, you use it in a way that, like, you will never see that person again. So you may find some songs in this name, like Hoşçakal by uh, some Turkish guys, some Turkish uh, singers, I mean. Uh, you can listen to them. Is very beautiful song, and hoşçakalın is um, used for uh, plural, you know, addresses. So yeah, that means be good, and it is used for goodbye. Okay, let's go to the next page. Okay, here we have pardon, pardon. That means excuse me. Wherever you can use excuse me, you can use pardon. Like when you want somebody to repeat a sentence, when you want to um, pass from a place, so like you want someone to step away from your way. Um, so you can use pardon in um, instead of excuse me in Turkish language. Um, I mean, like an equivalent of excuse me in Turkish. So, uh, yeah, here what we have here. 
Bakar mısınız? Bakar mısınız? Bakar mısınız is a sentence which is used um, for the situation of catching an attention. Like you can ask a waiter or waitress or a shopkeeper or someone you want to ask a question in the street. I mean, you can use bakar mısınız and that means would you have a look? Like, would you help, please? Would you just listen to me for a minute? Something like that. It is used for catching an attention. Müsaade eder misiniz? Müsaade eder misiniz? This is used for um, asking for permission uh, to pass from a place or to say something. And... Yeah, like, would you please let me, like, go through the door? Would you please let me to just walk from this place? Like, müsaade eder misiniz? Or, would you please let me to say what I want to say? So, here we have, müsaade eder misiniz? Okay. İzin verir misiniz? İzin verir misiniz? Okay. This also means the same. Would you please let me? Or would you please give me the permission? Uh, like izin verir misiniz? Yeah. This is like giving permission. Okay. Müsaadenizle. Müsaadenizle. That means if you please let me. And this müsaadenizle can be used um, as a start of a uh, speech. It can be used um, to say goodbye. Like you want to leave a place and um, you want to say, that, well, it's, it's time for me to go. I have to leave. And like, if you let me... Um, I want to leave. This is the expression that you use uh, to start saying goodbye. Okay, politely asking um, to let you go. Okay, müsaadenizle. Let's see what we have next. İzninizle. That's the same thing. İzninizle, müsaadenizle. Both of them. Um, are the same. Okay, hadi bana müsaade. That's a much more friendly way of um, using if you please let me. Like hadi bana müsaade means that um, I got to go. Something like that. It's as friendly as, as um, I, got, I have to go. I got to go. I'm leaving. It's time to say goodbye. Something like that. Yeah, it means I'm going to leave if you let me. Like, it's time to say goodbye. Okay. And hadi bana müsaade is something that usually guys use it. It's not feminine. So, ladies, please um, don't use it. It's a masculine sentence, actually. So, guys um, usually use it. And it's it's not for ladies. Yeah. That was another cultural point. <laughs> okay, here we have nasılsın. Nasılsın means how are you. Nasılsınız is a plural form of saying how are you. So we have nasılsın for single, singular and uh, nasılsınız plural. Ne haber? Ne haber? And in texting, they use ne bere, that means nabar. And they pronounce it like nabar, okay? They omit this e sound here, and that's nabar. And it's a kind of slangish way of saying as what's up. Um, okay, ne yapıyorsun? Ne yapıyorsun? Means what are you doing? 
but is used it is used to say like how are you doing how are you ne yaptın is the past form of um like what are you doing so it is what did you do okay what did you do literally means like ne yaptın but um this is a way of saying how are you like saying uh, ne yapıyorsun um this one is used in south of turkey okay so when they want to say uh, how are you they may say ne yaptın and because literally it means what did you do you may feel guilty don't feel guilty because it happened to me for some people said when people said like ne yaptın i was there i did nothing so that would be another misunderstanding for you so these two sentences means like how are you doing um like what are you doing or yeah it literally means what did you do but both of them used to say are used to say um what is it like how are you okay what else we have? Okay, in answering how are you, we say iyiyim, sağ olun. İyiyim, sağ olun. It means I am fine, thank you. Sağ olun means be good, be healthy. Uh, but it is used as a thank you. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim means thank you. Teşekkürler. Teşekkürler means thanks. And we have iyiyim şükür. Siz nasılsınız? İyiyim şükür. Siz nasılsınız? Means I'm good. Thanks God. How are you? Sizi gördüm. Daha iyi oldum. Sizi gördüm. Daha iyi oldum. You may hear this sentence as a compliment. Uh, it means I feel better. I feel better now that I see you. Okay, it's a polite way of saying like I'm fine. And it is used in formal situations usually, or was um, just having a compliment. Memnun oldum. Memnun oldum. It means nice to meet you. You can use it everywhere. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. And that means nice to, nice to meet you. And tanışmak means knowing each other. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum means that nice to know you. Okay. So, okay. You can use bende, which means me too. Or you can use aynen. That means uh, exactly the same. Or in the same way. Okay, so you can use bande or aynen to say me too. Okay, guys. So this was the uh, end of the video. I hope you have taken your notes. And I hope uh, all the... Uh, explanations that i have about like cultural differences would really help you to avoid misunderstanding and have a better conversation with turkish people um so for the third time if you haven't liked please like the video okay please go through the channel go to the playlist of learn turkish language and um you can watch other videos which will really help you in understanding and using Turkish language. Have a nice day. Good luck.